Today is Friday and that means FNA Friday, but it is actually not FNA Friday because today is going to be slightly different. Because today marks in a way a break for the type of things I'm going to talk about in the Friday FNAs. So, so far it's been all about what I'm going to call pre-production. It's not really pre-production, production and post-production, but I'm going to name it like that anyway. So it's kind of been the pre-production block of you're gonna to decide to be an animator. Then you're gonna decide what you wanna do and now you're gonna prepare for it and shoot reference. And as you prepare with your reference and the, the shot idea, what kind of character you wanna choose and what kind of things you wanna incorporate into your shot. Is it gonna be just a shot or an exercise or demo reel piece and so on and so on. So it's kind of like the beginning planning phase of your shot or your sequence or whatever you wanna do. But now it's kind of done. Now, I've, I'm sure I've forgotten some things and there's some things that you would like me to talk about. Maybe, I hope, I don't know. So today's gonna be a bit of a submit your questions. So is there anything that you want me to talk about in terms of what you wanna do for your shop before you actually start animating? So any concerns, any questions, any requests or anything, reply, let me know in the comments. Anything you want me to talk about, now is the chance. So this is your submission for questions video because starting next week, I'm gonna talk about blocking and I'm gonna start talking about workflow and just animation techniques and tools and tips and demos. And it's gonna be more the, the meaty aspect of animating. How are you gonna animate this? How many frames for this? What's the technical workflow for this moment, for this lip sync or this body action, two characters, creatures. So this is now pre-production block is done. Now it's gonna be the production block. So all the animation nitty gritty. And once that is done in, I don't know how many weeks or months, then it's gonna be more post-production. And again, I'm using those terms kind of loosely. It's not like full on post-production in production and pre-production, but I mean, it sounds fancy. So post-production is going to be, well, now you're done. So now you wanna render it. How does it look? Should I do just viewport 2.0 in Maya? Should I do proper renders with lights and compositing and maybe sound effects and music? And then, well, now that I have all those pieces together, how should I construct my reel? What should be on my reel? What are the do's and don'ts? And then as you continue with that, well, now that you're done with this, how do I submit? What type of reel do I submit where? And so on and so on. So this is gonna be the third block. And after that, of course, there's always something that can come up and I can talk about other things, but this is way, way, way in the future. So this is just the beginning, but I wanted to take the time to say this is the break point. And I think that break would be a good moment for questions. So anything that you have, any, like I said, concerns, questions, requests, comments, anything where you say, well, you can talk about animation and blocking and workflow, but you haven't really addressed other things I wanted to hear. So for instance, maybe you want to see uh, more explanations about shooting reference if you have two characters and you're, you're, and you're alone and you only have a camera and you got to run around, click on and run back and act it out. How do you do this when you have two characters? You shoot reference for multiple characters while you're alone. So there are still multiple topics that I haven't talked about, but I think the foundation has been covered. But again, if you need specific details, I can every now and then in that second block, sprinkle those in or wait till later. We'll do something special during the week and not on Fridays. So totally up to you, but let me know. So this is your chance. Let me know in the comments. Ask me any questions about anything. We can do future Q and A's or I can take those questions and actually make an F and A about it. Totally up to you. But I also want to say thank you because I have passed the 2000 subscriber mark and it's pretty bananas that people actually actually watch this. There are a lot of views on the critiques. I'm actually surprised how many views there are on each individual critique. So anybody that watches this, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the subscribers. And actually looking at my statistics, the subscribers went from kind of 45, 55% to now the majority who is watching those clips are actually subscribed. So I highly, highly, highly appreciate it. It is really, really encouraging and motivating to see that people watch this and subscribe. And again, if you have any requests, any questions, any concerns, any bribes, any chocolate that you want to send me, let me know in the comments. Speaking of chocolate, tomorrow is cheat day. I think it is chocolate time. I might just record something just about food, but maybe that's in the future, but that's it. So thank you. Thank you again to all the subscribers. Thank you for those that are watching every critique that I upload, every FNA or acting analysis this is all fantastically motivating. And I'm gonna continue. And again, 
Anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. And uh, that's it. Thank you.